Hi, I'm Liz Sneddon. Today we're looking at probability and particularly looking at what absolute and relative risk are and an example of that. So here's our question. We have a group of 5,000 patients who suffer from a skin condition. That was split up into two groups of 2,500. So the, student, the people that were in one of the groups were given the new drug and from those from those 2,500 that were given the new drug, 399 of those reported itching as a side effect. Those in the second group, so the other group of 2,500, were given a placebo and from these, 42 of them reported itching. So that's what we've got. Now just for those that don't know what a placebo is, placebo is a fake alternative pill. So if I looked at a pill and they looked differently and I was the patient then I would know whether I was getting the new drug or whether I was getting a sugar pill. So they make the placebos to look exactly the same as the real pill so that the people that, that are the patients don't know which one they're getting. Because there's quite a few um, people that feel better for seeing the doctor and talking to people and, and psychologically our brain is incredibly powerful. So about 30% of people usually feel better just by taking a placebo or sugar pill. And so that's very common in drug studies, is to compare a placebo with a new drug. So let's have a look at this one. We want to find the absolute rich risk of itching for both the new drug and the placebo. So we want to find what is the probability of itching given that somebody was taking the new drug and we want to find what is the probability of itching given that somebody was taking the placebo and that's what an absolute risk is is just finding these probabilities so itching and the drugs so we know in terms of itching there were 399 people taking the new drug so 399 out of the 2500 so that is our place our new drug. So it's 399 out of 2,500. And if you can leave it as a fraction or decimal 0 0.1596. Equally, for those that took the placebo, so taking the placebo, there were 42 of those who reported itching. So there were 42 out of the 2,500 that took the placebo that reported itching. That is a, as a decimal, that is 0 0.0168. So the chance of itching if you're taking the new drug um, is 15.9%, whereas if you're taking the placebo, the chance of itching is only 1.7%. Now I want to go on to find the relative risk. So that is a key phrase to know. And the relative risk usually means an excellence level question. So we want to find the relative risk of itching for the new drug compared with the placebo. So as soon as we see relative risk, I want you to think about relative risk in terms of the risk comparing the new drug with the placebo. And in this case, I want to compare the probability of itching given that somebody got the new drug versus the probability of itching given that somebody got the placebo. So a relative risk is always a ratio of absolute risks. So in this case the itching for the new is 1, 0.1596 and the second one is 0 0.0168. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say 0 0.1596 divided by 0 0.0168 and that will give us a value of 9.5. So now we need to interpret this and say what it means. Okay, So what we've got is we've got the relative risk that somebody is going to itch if they take the new drug compared with the placebo. So people taking the new drug that's the number that's on the top, are 
9.5 times more likely. Now this is very important wording, 9.5 times more likely. That is the key phrase that we want to use when we're doing relative risk. To itch compared with people taking the placebo. So thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to visit my website for more resources and videos.